Hey everyone, and welcome back to Timber and Stone, uh, episode four, three, two, one, go. Uh, no, um, last episode, you know, we we built this small farmhouse. In addition to going over to what was else going on, and. Uh, going forward, I'm going to try not to skip around so much in this game. I'm going to treat it a little bit more of a let's play format. Because I feel like I've been following a more just straightforward let's build format. Which is fine for medieval engineers because it's kind of just a lot of the same. Uh, for sure, of building you know rooms over and over and over again. But... For this, I do want to uh, kind of, you know, go through and well, for one thing, I don't know what's going on in here. Um, it looks like a zombie has broken through our door, and Cassandra's up in arms about it. I'm pretty much kicking his ass right now. And there we go. So, that was awkward. I don't know how Zombie got so close, but it looks like we have some additional threats coming into the village right now. Humphrey, Cassandra, and Karakos is defending the best they can. It's late night. I have everyone, every worker, scheduled to sleep at night all the way to dawn. So they'll be waking up here soon for day 28. And I don't know why Cassandra is so awake. Um, she follows the same schedule. I don't know if the zombie just kind of interrupted it. But it's dawn now. As you can see, everyone kind of jumped to what they should be doing. Uh, of course, I and Uthris is going to be filling up the trough full of feed because at the moment bit of a um, problem. Now this this will happen a lot in the game. You can see some people like to get stuck in doorways and they do that when someone's just generally in the way of where they want to go and yeah just problems can occur when that happens. So doors can be a bit of an, an issue if you have a bunch of rooms with choke points and things like that so I think with my larger structures like the castle I want to make sure to have multiple entrances and exits for sure so let's deconstruct this door frame and then just rebuild a new one in its place Uthers went ahead and let me just get rid of all the symbols. Uthers went ahead and uh, put up the hay. He's going to be harvesting food. Our farmers woke up pretty much. They're just jumping straight into harvesting all of our crops. I went ahead and basically told them to plant the full area. I have about four farmers and I just want to make sure that that's going to be enough. It looks like some more skeletons are on their way. We're just going to charge the unarmed one right off. No, Lawrence, you're not you're not to engage. Let the warriors actually take care of this one. There you go. So Luckily this skeleton's being stupid and not paying attention to what he should be attacking, so we were able to take care of him fairly quickly, which is nice. It's never good when uh, I take unnecessary damage. I don't. I only have two footmen. Eventually, I do need to train an archer, and that should be coming at some point soon. Ooh, you blocked with your shield. Good job, Karakas. So, tell them to go ahead and return back to the town hall. Do we have any more immediate threats? Doesn't really look like it. It's good. It's always good to have a bit of downtime before uh, you know enemies come back to get us. Uh, the main thing I wanted to start doing this episode 
is one, I'm going to be constructing a granary on this side because as you can see, eventually our wheat storage is going to get full and that's going to be a problem in the long run. So the granary is going to be a dedicated kind of wheat storage structure. And then also uh, there's going to be another farmhouse here. We are running low on beds and space for beds. So I want to try and get that started as soon as possible. Every house is going to hold two people. And I need to go ahead and update our stonemason Lawrence into a carpenter. So because I'm just basically making a bed right here because one, I can. Two, I get the resources back if I deconstruct it, so it's not even a big deal. I'm gonna make Killeen a builder for a little bit, because he doesn't have anything to chop down. I'm kind of been testing out to see how trees regrow. Um and I haven't learned anything. I I, I don't know how it works. So I'm sadly not the right person to ask. And also, uh, the beginning of the episodes, uh, I, I would have liked to make more of a tutorial or a, hey, this is how you kind of play attitude when I was filming, but I didn't know about enough about the game to even feel comfortable doing that. Um, I don't even know how to build like vertically still. Um, I, I need to look up that hotkey combination. I just learned how to dezone areas. Uh, and that's from holding shift and alt at the same time while trying to zone something. Like for example, um, I can zone out like a place to dig over here. But if I hold shift and alt and click, you can see we get a little bit of a golden color now. And if I drag it out, it'll remove what was there. So, you know, obviously I'm a noob, you know, but I enjoy figuring this out on my own. So it's, it's basically a challenge that I like to have. Construct flooring. Uh, let's go with. I do terrain. Hey, what this one? This one's gonna have a dirt floor because we haven't had one yet, and plus it's cheap. Um, I'm all about being cheap right now. Granary. It's gonna have a stone floor. Once we get to that. And this will be another little farm here. And then I'll probably expand some in this direction. And then of course around the granary. And then I think at that point once we establish this much. I'll start working on the castle. For you guys. And plus we're going to need one to help defend the area and keep bulk of our supplies safe and a lot of our citizens safe in the long run especially our professions so let's see i need to make sure our blacksmith is doing something at this point because he needs to level up so i can get better tools better armor better equipment for the warriors because the less damage they take uh, the better off i am for sure in the long run I'm going to go ahead and run this at double time. That way uh, things happen just you know, that much quicker for sure. Dig mine. Okay, Missed the spot, I guess, right there. I have a masonry supply right here. And that is specifically so that we know... Um, basically, it's, it's to shorten their, their routes to drop off and pick up things for construction. Let's see, walls, we're gonna go with uh, full timber on this house. And it's gonna go something like this, I believe. Um, the thing that I've been doing a lot as well is bouncing my carpenter and stonemason back and forth, and it's been working out alright at this point, so 
you know, stonemasons making all my basic tools, carpenters kind of keeping up with my wood needs. When I do build wooden structures, it's very important to have a carpenter up and running. It's very nice when you dig away some grass and it reveals ore. So it's a big time saver when looking for this stuff because you need a lot of it. I can go ahead and queue up another standard ingot. Let's check up on our blacksmith. He should be coming out right there. Good old Ralph. Ralph the blacksmith. He is level 5. Yeah. That's about all I can say about him. I'm really waiting for some wool to be harvested. Because we haven't gotten any yet from our sheep, and I don't know why. How's our animal fur? About the same. So what I want to do here is keep leveling up my tailor, and we do have one. Uh, one came in, his name is, where is our Mr. Taylor, Taylor. His name is Zacchaeus Gray. He's level 10 tailor. And I've been leveling him up just by crafting string. And you can you can craft string with an assortment of things from fiber to spider silk and basically I can get a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, beyond fishing, I don't really know what else it could be used for. I mean, he can make rope as well. A little weird. I don't know what rope's really used for, but I'm just trying to get him some levels so that I can hopefully make some of the highest tier things. So once he's level 14, he'll be able to make a 12% damage reduction chest piece, which is great. Um, everyone already has a gabison and arming cap in terms of military. They also have leather boots, which is awesome because it increases their movement speed. The leather boots, actually, I gave to the miners and builders because I get the feeling that they move around the most. probably going over a lot of things at once here um, and I apologize if I'm speaking too quickly or forget if things are just going over your head but it's uh, a lot of things are going on and I'm having to micromanage a lot it's training grass make that look pretty I love the look of this this farmhouse and its fields it's probably one of my favorite things I've built so far, probably next to the barn. I do need to upgrade their beds at some point, but we don't have enough cloth. Again, I'm waiting for Uthras to shear some sheep. It's just a waiting game at this point. I might need another herder, because it might be taking him too long to harvest the chickens in time, and if that's the case, then I'm going to have to get another herder for sure. In fact, I'm going to slaughter the boar and two chickens. That make it, might make it a little bit more manageable for uh, just having one herder. And as you can see, construction, it's a pretty slow process. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it's just a constant work in progress, it feels, and you do get things done, just Maybe not as fast as you originally wanted. Cancel that. I want to move that over. Just just one block. So it, it fits a little bit more nicely there. And let's go back to the construction tab. The walls. Uh, full temper. Oh. Get a little little happy with that left click there and I ended up double hitting it. So I also need a construction utility fence. I'm put an additional fence right there. Did I even design like a fence gate? I don't think I did. I can just drop one in real quick. It's under doors. I'm gonna just drop one in there. So now we have a gate. 
for sure for this little area. It makes me wonder why I even bother digging this out if I wasn't going to use stone or something for the floor. Uh, let's see. Construction, flooring. We're going to do flat stone for the granary section. And then I think timbered floor for the storage section. So, we'll have a nice little break in that area. Stone, stone, stone. Our miners should be back in the mine already because we do need pretty much a constant supply of stone. As you can see, they're working away in here have to occasionally check on them make sure they're not missing any of the ores just in the walls and on the floor okay that looks good in fact let's just do a quick scan to see if there's any hostiles around little spiders I don't I don't worry about my farmers can kill the little spiders they're not a threat at all uh, the biggest threat at the moment is over here, as you can see, in Undead Island. Uh, they've been killing goblins as well, over there. Doesn't look like there's anything on the mainland though, so we're pretty much safe at this point. Uh, Taylor is level 12. The nice thing about the Taylor as well, he is very good at learning things. He has a trait fast learner. So that's something that all the townspeople have. They have their own special traits. So for example, Karakas, you have bad vision. You don't see very well. You need some glasses. And Humphrey, well, he has good vision. So you cancel each other out. Um, I need to make a stonemason real quick. One of our farmers is missing tools and it's very important. Uh, Killeen, you have... You're clumsy, Killeen. You're, you're just a clumsy, clumsy person. You know, Margaret is cowardly. What am I? Where am I at? I'm usually bustling around the uh, farm here. I have clumsy as well. So, you know, it happens. Uh, Storage-wise, always a... Uh, metal storage shortage going on uh, because our blacksmith's not high enough to use those higher grade metals so I've just been sitting on a whole bunch of it as you can see I can make 50 strong metal right now but uh, I won't be able to kind of a shame food is getting a little tight which is a good sign that the farm is working as intended since food is getting tight, I'm going to construct or uh, put down a new storage object and food seed. Just do a barrel. We don't have many of these yet. And we can put that in the barn as well. Need a carpenter to do so, though. And he can get on that. And then in the meantime, we'll just keep telling our construction how to handle this. We also need to put Killeen back into wood gathering mode uh, really soon. So we're pretty pretty low on that. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Killeen, you're gonna you're gonna go back to a woodcutter. And then Bernard, our second miner, he alternates between the best builder that we have and a miner when we need them to be. So we can just chop down some spare trees. What I usually do for harvesting logs is I look for trees that are kind of close together, thin them out a little bit, and um, leave some standing because I think how the tree regrowth works is it grows from you know, current mature trees. If I take them all out, well then, 
we won't have any trees to reseed the area. So I just pretty much thin it out. Uh, give us some good spacing. And then go from there. Now, I need to promote uh, myself just temporarily to a forager so I can loot these bodies. So, gather resources on all these skeletons that we killed. I think there's one in the building as well. Yes. So. I can go ahead, uh, I'm probably really not going to get much on these things, maybe a bone or something. Let's see. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm eating. Let's just say, it's not break time. You got shit to do. Get on it. We're already at the 20 minute mark. This is gonna... As you can see, if I, if I keep this format going, it's going to be a really long series. We haven't gone through a full in-game day since I've been recording. We're just in the afternoon. So it's going to be like two episodes every day. Um, and so this is just a, a test format, I guess you could say. If, if you guys want me to do speed building, I can. But I can't really set the camera here for the full time because I don't always have all the resources to do so. So I can't just watch something be built. I don't, I don't have that luxury yet. Um, it, it would be a lot of kind of moving around. And I can do a speed build kind of shot if you guys want, but right now it's kind of unfeasible. And so I'm just testing a full Let's Play kind of format for you guys to see if that jives with you at all. If you have any questions down below, I can try and answer them. Again, I don't know a whole lot with the game. Um, if you're curious on how to get bring up the unit list, if you're new to playing, it's just pressing the key, the U key on your keyboard. It opens and closes that. Um, again, having a road set up to the edge of the map is very important. Try and make it a clean, too wide road. Uh, you don't have to build an actual road path. I just did that because I thought it looked nice. Again, it's, it's pretty expensive to do, and really, it's kind of a late game thing. I think I did that way too early. Uh, if you're having trouble with food, just put a bunch of people to either farmers or foragers initially, and uh, just stockpile, stockpile, stockpile a bunch of food, so you can hopefully get a lot of more people to join your town. And actually, I'm about to show you something pretty cool. A merchant just arrived. A trader. And I need to have someone to temporarily become a trader. Usually it's Ken Adams. Because he's a level 3 trader here. <clears throat> and he, he'll, the Ken Adams will basically go over to our town hall and meet this guy who's coming down a road right now. Let's go to full control camera view. I'm fly down to him. He rides a donkey. He's got goods to sell, and uh, you can mark what goods. Now, you have to do this, I think, before he arrives, what you actually want to sell. You can mark it here. You can also mark things to buy. Um, I don't have anything marked to buy right now, so I'm pretty much just selling. And I have sold some leather to him before. Like right now, hey, he wants some clubs for two coins. Sure, I can do that. In fact, I need to stop maintaining those. I'm going to maintain just one club going forward. He wants five animal hides for two gold. Uh, I don't think that's a good deal. I don't have many animal hides to begin with right now. And if I need to make more leather boots, it's not going to go good. 21 rope for three coins. I can do that. Rope, I have almost an endless supply right now of. So... As you can see, over time, oh, he's wanting to buy some spider silk. I can sell that as well. It's a pretty common uh, resource that we have. And he wants to buy, I'm pretty sure, is that all of our 
dirt? No, it's half our dirt. For 22 coins. Sure. You know, that sounds good too. I have a bunch of that. That's All that dirt is just from making the roads. Dirt's easy to get. And I think once a chat bubble will put above his head that says, you know, I have nothing to buy or I have nothing to sell, then the trade is pretty much over. So sold some bones on that one. So this is trading. Eventually, I'm going to put the trading area. It's called the town hall. Really, it should just be called like the trading zone because it's really all it's really useful for. Um, I'll basically build a trading depot like that we have in La Floria. So I'm gonna go ahead and make him back into a farmer because we're basically done trading at this point. Go back in RTS view. And there you have it. He'll leave, and we'll be left alone to our own devices yet again. We gained about 40 coins from that transaction. That's actually pretty nice. I haven't gotten any trading done yet. So I'm glad I got to show you guys that. This episode went on a little long, but there was a lot of things kind of going on at least. We are building, you know, up on this wall pretty quickly. Thanks for watching as always. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, let me know if you have any names for civilians and I'll definitely jot that down and we can get to working on that. And check out some of my other videos for some more building goodness and I'll see you guys in the next episode.